Dear colleagues, we are gathering at COP26 and the Sustainable Innovation Forum at a critical moment on our journey to carbon neutrality. While the world is making progress, much remains to be done. That applies in particular to so-called hard to abate industries and most especially to shipping. With about 70,000 ships worldwide consuming 300 million tons of fuel per year. Shipping accounts for around 3% of global carbon dioxide emissions. This is an industry with a proud heritage, but one which needs to adapt and adapt rapidly in order to secure our sustainable future. At the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Group, we believe there is no single solution to achieving this. Instead, we see four key areas on which we must focus to reach our shared goal of decarbonization in the maritime industry. The first is to set clear global rules. In April 2018, the International Maritime Organization adopted an initial strategy on the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions from international shipping, a policy framework that sets key ambitions, including cutting emissions by at least half by 2050, compared with their level in 2008. This adds to the previous energy efficiency regulation for new vessels aimed at cutting the carbon intensity of international shipping by 40% by 2030, compared with the level in 2008. However, we believe this is no longer ambitious enough. Along with many of the industry's biggest operators and customers, we believe that to reach zero emissions by 2050, zero emission ships must become dominant and competitive choice by around 2030. This would set a clear direction for the industry, a direction which is challenging, but which is also the right one. We at the Mitsubishi Shipbuilding Corporation are determined to do our part. For 150 years now, we have designed and built ships utilizing state-of-the-art eco-friendly technologies available at the time, all to meet the needs for global environmental protection. Of course, the carbonization of the maritime industry cannot be solved by the maritime sector alone. Therefore, we also need increased global collaboration, both among stakeholders in the shipping industry itself and with other fields, such as the energy, fuel, and chemical sectors. At Mitsubishi Heavy Industry, Marine Machinery and Equipment, we are actively engaged in collaborative efforts with other global industry players to reduce emissions. One important initiative is the Mask McKinley Moral Center for Zero Carbon Shipping, which was set up in 2020 with MHI Group as a founding partner. The center's mission is to research both the technological and economic feasibility of alternative fuels for their use and widespread adoption. The work there also supports the development of the necessary regulations and rules for achieving decarbonization, which my colleague just talked about, as well as identifying issues in the areas of finance and tax. MHI Group is also joining in this, investigating various aspects of the value chain of the entire ecosystem. A third necessity is to overcome commercial barriers to decarbonization, which in the shipping industry means principally the cost of introducing alternative fuels. Shipping companies are calling for container ships, bulk carriers, tankers, and car carriers that should run on low carbon or potentially zero carbon fuels to realize carbon neutral shipping. At Mitsubishi Shipbuilding, we are working on the development of propulsion systems that use methane as well as propane, ammonia, and hydrogen. We are also developing a liquefied carbon dioxide carriers as a part of a global carbon dioxide utilization and storage chain. However, the cost of carbon neutral fuels is currently two to five times higher than that of fossil fuels, which means they are not yet commercially viable. 
at the same time, national and international supply chain of such alternative fuels need to be developed in all ports, and their supply has to be scaled up rapidly. Such commercial barriers can only be overcome by global understanding and cooperation. And as those cheaper sources of clean fuel come on stream, we in the shipping industry must make sure we are ready, which is why technical readiness is the fourth key driver of decarbonization in this sector. We are working on developing new alternative fuel supply equipment as well as equipment to treat exhaust gas. Just this year, Mitsubishi Shipbuilding launched the first prototype of an onboard carbon dioxide capture system for an ocean-going vessel. The test of prototype model has just been successfully completed. We will continue with the development of new technologies to realize decarbonization in shipping and to achieve our common goal of carbon neutrality. This transition is a revolutionary change given that the marine transport sector has relied on fossil fuel ever since the invention of the steam engine brought about the age of exploration. And of course, we always need to bear safety and reliability in mind. Some new technologies come with associated risk and all new ships and systems need to be thoroughly vetted and tested before they are commercialized. Just as important as striking the balance among rapid progress, safety, and reliability, we also need to maintain a realistic, step-by-step -step approach to our decarbonization efforts. New technologies and products need to be developed from a user's point of view and take into account the whole of life costs of each vessel. However, given the very long lead times in our industry, we cannot afford to delay. After all, the ships we build today may still be sailing in 2050. Thank you for your kind attention.